we're going to show you how to install a cantilever gate using nothing but this and maybe a little bit of this and this and this. Now a cantilever gate is a gate that is suspended over the ground and has no wheels touching it. It is my preferred gate because anything that has wheels or tracks on the ground tends to get run over or bumped or they don't guide right. The cantilever gates suspended over the ground roll really nice and easy and have the least amount of problems and we're going to show you how to do that coming up right now. These are four inch nylon cantilever gate rollers. This is two and three eighths right here. So our pipe is two and three eighths or some people call it two and a half. And this fits around our four inch post. It will go exactly like that. We'll have one roller here. We'll have one face the other way right above it like that. And they basically sandwich the gate between them and suspend it over the ground. They work really, really good in snow climates and climates where we have snow and ice and build up like that where we don't want anything on the roadway and covering the roadway. Uh, these particular rollers are nylon cantilever gate rollers. You can get other rollers that are malleable, uh, basically a cast roller in their steel. They're a lot rougher, a lot less precision, and they don't last as long. My preferred roller is a good set of nylon cantilever gate rollers for any kind of cantilever gate. This will be much better if you were going to automate your gate later on. So it's what we install on every single one of our gates just because the other ones are so rough and so unrefined. Typically they're all import and they're just not machined to the same specifications. So also you will notice that we have guards on all these which is required by ASTM F2200 and if you're going to have an automated gate it's required by UL325 as well. So you can find these cantilever gate rollers and a link down below. So check the description down below in this video and you'll be able to find a link to these type of rollers on our website. So to cheat and speed things up a little bit, the first thing we can do is we can measure our cantilever gate and find out how far apart our uprights are because we need our rollers between our rollers to be that same dimension roughly. So let's measure this and see what this is. So 88 inches between the top and the bottom, that's what we need between our rollers. Now, 88 inches comes into play because if I want the top rail to line up with my top rail up here, I basically need to be 88 inches from the top rail to the bottom of this roller right here. So. When we get ready to adjust these, we'll want to make sure that these are both directly in line. Having one twisted like that will make the gate close harder and it won't work as well. So keeping these parallel with the gate is critical for a smooth operation. So all I've done is set that up there and it's nice and high. So we can put the gate in here and then just slide that down right to the top of the gate, which will make things a lot easier. Does that need to come up some more? What do you think? Look at it from your side. I think it needs to come up a little yes, more. I See, in the closed position, we could actually come down a little bit. Drop this one or raise that one. Here's a pro tip. So depending on whether or not the gate is closed or open will depend on where all the weight is resting. Because it's in the closed position and it's pivoted out and it's cantilevered out, all of the weight is being borne by this roller up above us. So if we want to move that gate in down, all we have to do is cantilever that out and we can move this roller up. Now, if we pull the gate to the open position and we want to adjust that roller up here, all the pressure would be off of it and we could adjust that without any fear of the gate falling over. 
huge gap here, so I'm going to loosen these bolts, pull this up to minimize how much gap we have here and tighten up our gate tolerances. We have it like this. This is bad. I've actually seen gates done like this where people have it cocked, but what we want to see is we want to see that roller perfectly parallel. If we look down this, we can see that it's perfectly parallel with this gate. So there's no excess wear and tear on it and we don't run the risk of binding this roller and breaking this roller off. I need this, you see how that's crooked? We need it to be straight. Could you make it straight? Nope, nope, nope. You see how this roller is crooked with this? It needs to go this way. So this side needs to spin around. No, don't beat on plastic. No, no, that's still plastic. No, no, I don't need to go up or down. Oh, don't hit the plastic. Do not hit the plastic. It will break. Tappy tappy. So working with your son is always a really good time. Uh, we get along really well, even though sometimes it may seem like he drives me nuts because he does. You go in and out. <clears throat> they already know about chain link dressing because Dan's covered that in the video right over here. So we aren't going to talk about that. Hey, hey. There you go. A little. So hopefully now you have a better idea of the benefits to a cantilever gate, how to install a cantilever gate, and some of the tools that you'll need should you choose to tackle a cantilever gate installation on your own. Don't forget, we're SWI, Florida's fence company, and we hope you have a good dang day.